Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25151. Microsoft released this build today, and in this video, we're going to talk about what is new in this build, as always. If you enjoy these videos, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before continuing with the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by HitPause screen recorder. With HitPaw screen recorder, you can record games, screen, webcam, and picture-in-picture -picture videos in simple steps. Recording is as easy as pressing the record button, and the intuitive settings that the software provides can help you get the most out of your recording. You can set a custom frame rate and format, mouse effects, schedule tasks, and by customizing these settings, you can record games at the best quality. Its hardware acceleration feature allows you to record HD gameplay with high performance on your computer. Also, you can capture keyboards and shortcuts during recording at any time. Download HitPaw Screen Recorder from the links in the description below and make sure to use the coupon code for a 30% discount. So Windows 11 build 25151 is a very small Windows 11 Insider Preview build that Microsoft released and it only contains a few fixes that could help the overall Windows 11 experience. So first of all, in this build we have a few fixes regarding the file explorer. So in the file explorer, Microsoft fixed a scaling issue which could result in the tabs being unexpectedly large and also right-clicking a tab and then clicking somewhere else in File Explorer should dismiss the context menu more reliably now. This is a bug that I've talked about when Microsoft firstly announced the tabs. I'm glad that now this is fixed. If you right-click on a tab, you can click anywhere else and that menu will be dismissed. Microsoft also fixed a recent issue where shutting down via the Start menu wasn't working for some insiders and unexpectedly rebooting instead. They also fixed a high-hitting Windows security app crash and they also updated the exclusions page in the Windows security apps so that file paths now make better use of the available space rather than truncating when space is still available. And we have two fixes regarding printing. They fixed an underlying issue which was causing a crash when trying to delete ports in print UI s and also an issue causing printing to not work from UWP apps for some insiders in the last two flights. Basically, this is all there is to it in this small build as Microsoft is stating. If you want to check out more info about this build regarding known issues, for example, you can check out the article down below in the description. But this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. That was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.